Hey everybody, Kelsey here in the Toy Notes studio, and today is Science Day. We are playing with Cool Science's Gravity Goo, and the reason we're pulling out a lot of science toys lately is because this is going to be one of the hottest trends in 2017 toys. Creating sci science related, and then of course like slime and goo and gross. Kids are super into it right now, and I encourage it because it's like little experiments, they're kind of hands-on, and it doesn't involve screen time. So this one has several activities. You can make self-siphoning goo, grow clear spheres, make them disappear, and make colorful stringy goo. So all in all, sounds like a good time if you ask me. It's recommended for kids eight and up and has that six activities. It says it comes with clear spheres, a measuring cup, gravity goo power, powder, sorry, garbled marbles, and true color tablets. So this should have everything in it that we need. I thought maybe it would be cool to make the self-siphoning goo. So why don't you guys come in on closer, we'll open it up and make it with you. So I brought you guys in closer so we can make our gravity-defying goo with our gravity goo play set. Remember this is eight and up recommend, uh, for age recommendation. everything there. Now let's see what our instructions are for making our gravity defying goo. Okay. All right. We're going to need two cups, one with cold water and one with room temperature water. Now it says to fill the cup with room temperature water almost to the top. Now I'm going to put my cold water over here because it wants me to add the powder first and I should have read the directions. So everything inside is labeled very clearly. This is our gravity goo powder. Now it says fill the other cup with one blue scoop of the gravity goo powder. So you have enough to do this experiment a few times actually, which is kind of nice. Ooh, this baggie is terrible though. You're gonna wanna invest in some better baggies because it just ripped. That's no good. I'm gonna have to put it in a different bag. Okay, so one scoop of gravity goo powder. Check. Now quickly pour the water from this cup into the cup with the powder. Keep pouring the liquid back and forth. Now it says you're gonna need to do so quickly for the first couple of minutes, that way you don't get clumpiness. This is mixing the goo up. And it's getting thicker and heavier. I'm doing a pretty decent job of keeping it from getting clumps. I've got some stuck to the bottom of this cup, but we're just working it back and forth. Now it says after two to three minutes it should start forming strings of goo. I'm not seeing strings of goo yet. It's starting to get thick, but it's not stringy quite yet. We're starting to get strings, so it says when that happens, you're going to pour it back and forth more slowly for an additional five minutes. Uh, 
Okay, so I've been mixing for about five minutes now, and now, believe it or not, we have to wait another half hour. So it says we have to let it sit in the same cup for 30 to 40 minutes and settle. Um, so they said, we know it's hard but wait to wait, but trust us, the result will be worth it. So it's all gonna sit in this cup for the next 30 minutes. Okay, so I waited the 30 to 40 minutes that I recommended and nothing really looked any different. I waited two hours, three hours, and four hours, and then I just decided to let it go about 24 hours. And that's where we're at now. Now it looks really gooey and less watery. So we're gonna move on in the instructions. So the next part says take the cup again. You're going to do a few pours back and forth and then notice a very strange occurrence. Once you start to pour the liquid, you can't just stop it as the liquid crawls up and over the sides of the cup in a self-siphoning type action. Make sure you keep the cup you are pouring higher than the cup you are pouring into. As gravity continues to flow, you will find that you hardly need to pour the liquid at all. It will climb up and out of the cup on its own. All right, so here we go. Going back and forth and back and forth back forth. You'll see it's kind of pulling itself along. I'm not moving my tipping action. I mean, it's not doing it all the way yet, but see, we're going to do this. I'm just going to tip it the same way. And it kind of is pulling itself along. I can see what they mean. It's just not as mind blowing as they would lead you to believe. So I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it starts to pull itself along, but it's a polymer, so it's going to. Let's see if I can get this broken here. Oh my goodness, it's stretchy. So I'm not overly thrilled with this experiment. I'd like to see what some of the others look like since this one didn't really blow my mind and this was the one that was supposed to be the big shocker in this set. Well guys, that's it for me with the Gravity Goo play set. I wasn't overly thrilled, but I guess you get what you pay for. I didn't pay a lot for it, and it's got eight activities in it, so it's not a total waste of time, but don't expect to have your mind as blown as the instructions like to tell you. The self-siphoning goo just didn't do it for me, but hopefully the other experiments will. So if you guys want to stay tuned for more experiment type toys and all the top toy trends in 2017, you need to be right here at Toy Notes, so make sure you hit that subscribe button right now. We also appreciate a good thumbs up and a comment below. Have you ever played with the gravity defying self siphoning goo and did you have better success than I did? Until next time guys, see you soon.